I'm going to show you how to utilize other people's money to take yourself from where you currently are to freaking millions! This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today I'm working with my man Andres, New York City investor. And Andres, man, what I want to do today, brother, is I want to show you the best way to utilize financing, right? Financing. O P M. Other people's money, right? There's a lot of different things you could finance, right, in this world, specifically in the real estate space, right? But in my opinion, there's one type of property that allows you to best utilize other people's money, to best use that financing, right? To get the very best financing terms. To get financing terms, man, that are just unheard of, right? So the investment itself, it's a good property, makes some money. I think you're going to like it quite a bit. It fits in with what you want to do. But more importantly than that, dude, it's the strategy behind why I targeted this property and why I think the financing will allow you to go from where you are to making millions. Let's jump into the nitty gritty right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Now we got to get into the meat, right? The meat and potatoes. We're going to talk about the property. We're going to talk about the financing. I love this property. I love this property, not necessarily like because it's like specifically this property, but what it represents, what it allows us as real estate investors to do from a financing aspect, okay? The address is 3516 West 105th. It's in Cleveland. It's been on the market for three days, and it's going to be a battle to get this, okay? They listed it at two and a quarter, reasonable price. You're probably going to have to pay more than that if you want to take it down because a lot of people are going to want this because of the type of investment it is, right? This is a quad. This is a four-unit apartment building. Now, on my show, I've been telling people forever, I think the four-unit apartment building is literally the best investment newer investors can make, and it's because of the financing. And I've also been telling people I specifically love real estate investing as an investment vehicle over pretty much any other type of investing because of financing. Financing is what I believe makes real estate itself superior to other investments, right? You can invest in the stock market. You can invest in businesses. You can invest in this. You can invest in that. But I don't know anything, anything in the world that you can invest in where you can get 30-year loans, fixed interest, low interest, tax-deductible interest loans to invest in that business, except for real estate. Now, going deeper, those awesome 30-year terms, you don't just get them for all the real estate in the world. That's not how it works. There's a very select amount of real estate that you can get those awesome 30-year terms. Single-family homes, duplexes, triplexes, Four unit apartment buildings, right? So now we talk income. You want one rental income check coming in? What's better than one? How about two? What's better than two? Three. What's better than three? Four. What's better than four? Nothing. Not five. Why? Because as soon as you hit five, you no longer get the 30 year terms. Single family, duplex, triplex, quad. That's the only type of real estate you can get with these awesome 30 year loans. So this is. The most rental income you could get with one of those amazing 30-year loans. And the loans, folks, are why we should be investing in real estate in the first place. As for the property specifically itself, it's nothing amazing. It's nothing special. Just your regular, random, run-of-the-mill, C-grade rental property. I have 
As a matter of fact, I have many rental properties on this street. I actually happen to have uh, multiple four-unit apartment buildings on this particular street, okay? This area, we got hundreds of uh, units like this. This is good. Your C-grade stuff. You get a lot of Section 8-type tenants in these types of neighborhoods. Those are the types of tenants you want. As a matter of fact, the current owner has some Section 8 in there, right? Now, the current owner... Uh, let me pull that up on the screen. That'd be even easier, right? The guy's got Section 8 coming in, right? And he did this, you know, at various times, right? Uh, the amount that the Section 8 program is going to give, you know, it's going to vary, right? Uh, per unit, per year, things of that nature. But essentially what he's got, depending on, like, also, too, what he offered the apartment as, right? But he's got folks in there, 640, 705, 640, 775. In my opinion... These units, based upon my level of expertise, selling friggin' $200 million worth of stuff and having thousands of tenants like this, these are all about $750 units. That's a fair market rent for these units. That's what we typically rent these units for, right? So as you see, he went a little bit above here, and then he went below those three. Maybe those were uh, multiple years ago, things of that nature. But he's got four tenants in there. Some are on Section 8, some are on cash. $750 is roughly the market rent. So if you base the numbers off of market rent, you're looking at $36,000 a year scheduled to come in. However, you don't get to keep all that. That's not how this game works, okay? I'm anticipating roughly $17,500 of fixed and variable expenses that you need to estimate coming out of your pocket every year, leaving you with a clear NOI of about eighteen and a half. Now, price, again, a lot of people are going to want this. You can be lucky to buy it, okay? This thing is going to fly. This is the Cleveland market. This is a four-unit apartment building. There are not a lot of four-unit apartment buildings. So if you want to take this down, you better make a bid immediately. I think if you go anything uh, at list or below, you're probably not getting it. I recommend 230. If you want to go higher, you'll have a better shot of taking it down. There is no scenario where this is not going to be a bidding war, okay? I think at 230, that would be amazing if you can do it. 57 and a half out of your pocket, the big bad financing of 172 and a half, right? Here's the other thing about that financing, right? I told you about those 30-year loans. The other thing, you only get 10 of them. You don't get more than 10. You only get 10. So since you only get 10, you want to maximize it with 10 four-unit apartment buildings or do you want 10 singles? That's up to you. But me personally, I think you want to go 10 four-unit apartment buildings. Actually, that's a lie. I think you want to go nine four-unit apartment buildings because I think you're batshit crazy if you don't use the first mortgage on your own personal home, right? If you got a roof over your head, someone's paying a mortgage. I want it to be your mortgage, not your landlord's, okay? Think of that. So 57 and a half out of your pocket, 172 and a half coming out of the bank's pocket, tenants pay all that off and kick you a 17% return on your money for your troubles, right? That is why I think A, real estate investing, superior to other investing. B, the four-unit apartment building is in fact the best investment investors like you can ever buy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.